Traffic cop Matt Cooling is... Bell to stop. It's a silver Saab estate. Advanced driver, suit, teeth pack, high performance, fully marked. Road conditions are dry, weather's dry. No other traffic or pedestrians. Authorities continue, please. Based on everything you've told me so far, pursuit is authorised. Speed is in excess of 6 zero. Single white male occupant, no other descriptions. And it's the wrong side of a keep left bollard as we overtake a member of the public. It doesn't matter the fact that it's you know late at night, all it takes is a mistake or a, an error of judgment, and you know the driver's gonna crash. You know, of course, the consequences could be massive. He's got sparks now off his front offside wheel, so I don't know if he's got a puncture or something. It's offside on double white lines. Now back to the correct side. It looks like he may have issues with his front wheels. It's a massive balancing act, you know, when we're pursuing vehicles, and you have got to weigh up the dangers that are present and, and what potentially might happen ahead of us, you know. But that, you know, these people don't care. Speed is seven zero and a three zero. Yeah, it's the wrong side of a keep left bollard at the roundabout. It's overtaking more members of the public. Now yeah, back to the correct side. I think he's got um, no brake pads on his front. Every time he brakes, I'm seeing sparks. Yeah, going up to a set of traffic lights. DRA's high. Well, we're through on red. Stand by. Yeah, we've got through. Member public's had to stop. Possible decamp into an housing estate. Light traffic. There are members of the public. Reaching a dead end, the suspect makes a run for it. Matt and other officers give chase. Stop. Where's he gone? He's there. Stop there! To be honest, mate. All oh, yours, Crawley, mate. Well, under... Right, you're under arrest. Failing to stop for police. Dangerous driving. You don't have to say anything, but it may only be defence. Don't mention when question something. Can you just move Which you'll read later on in court. Anything you do say, maybe give it an evidence. I do struggle, you know, to understand why people just don't stop. You know, ultimately, they've got to get away completely scot free, and the chances of that, you know, are slim to none. The consequences of you know, not stopping and then driving dangerously far exceed what would have happened. You know, the driver just pulled up and stopped, you know, straight away. So, you know, the potential now is that, you know, they're facing imprisonment. At court, the man received four months in prison and a two-year driving ban. Fifteen months later. I need a vehicle check, please. Let's turn three seven. Traffic cop Jim Payne is behind a suspicious car. Audi A3 Sport in black. Insurance not held. Mm -hmm. No reports present. Anybody around in case this does want? The man behind the wheel of the Audi is the disqualified driver pursued by Matt Cooling. We tend to work more as a team, so that when we do come across a car that we think has got the potential to, to fail to stop, we've got resources there to safely deal with it. Yes. Just off at 29, Jim, coming up. I'll just keep following it while Everett's just driving like it is. Apologies. Driving very cautiously yeah, at the minute. He's obviously very conscious that we're behind. The end game is to get them stopped without them causing risk to other people, other members of the public, or the motorists. 
Do you want me in front or you go in front in the mark? You can go in front. With another unit behind, the officers attempt to stop. Yeah, we're going. Hey, you got a vehicle failing to stop. Go again, 3-7. Uh, there's no other traffic, DRA low currently. Yeah, from 3-7. It's a left, left, left. <clears throat> Have we got local units, please, with Stinger? Good out, next one, Chuck. Tune where you're towards. Thank you, Chief. The ship is authorised. Continue with DRA. Just gone through a stop line without stopping. As you're driving, doing the commentary, you know, you've got a lot of things going around in your head, but you've still got to try and get it clear in your head. Who's going where? It's coming up uh, to the roundabouts. I think that's where you are, is it, Stu? Yes, yes. Stingers out, stingers out. Vehicle stone, vehicle stone. Yeah, it's took a right, right, right. After being stung. Speed is six zero. <clears throat> I don't know if he's looking somewhere to decamp it. Like he's struggling to make the turns now. I think his front offside's gone. Struggling to control the vehicle. He's up on the pavement. Can't see it lasting much longer. Um, it's scraping away now on the rim. He's got both both tyres are gone. Yeah, both tyres are completely gone, both front tyres. Coming up. Oh, there we go. Two. Another tyre. The pursuit continues. This is the compartment on you. I've got to the left. But the driver's not giving up. Oh, hey, he's got damage, hey, he's got damage. And a speeding car on the motorway. The reason I've stopped you is because I've clocked you doing 125 miles an hour. Raises suspicions. So how do I know you are who you say you are? I'm not lying to you, it's no point to lying. I think just let it run for the time being. On the outskirts of Chesterfield, Oh, there we go. Two, three, one. <laughs> There's another tyre. Can't be long now before it just uh, doesn't make a corner. Yeah, it's straight through red lights towards town. With several units in pursuit behind Jim, the team prepare to bring the Audi to a stop. I've got to the left. Oh, we've got damage, we've got damage, we've got damage. He's got his hand up. <laughs> Can't get him, it's, it's this car. <coughs> get the grabby food. Yeah, yeah, been arrested, mate. Yeah. Failing to stop, yeah. dangerous yeah. driving. Yeah. You don't have to say anything, but it may only defence. You don't mention when questioned. So if you reach an eight to nine court, and if you do say, maybe given an evidence. 
we'll shoot off to, to custody and we'll book him in. In the last year, there have been nearly 45,000 convictions for unlicensed and disqualified driving. It was disappointing, ultimately, we've got obviously a police vehicle damaged. He's just increased his speed, so it's left us with no option, really. He showed with his manner of driving, he wasn't going to stop, he's got no intention of stopping. And obviously now we're in a town centre, where to put it to a stop so that uh, obviously no one got hurt. We found a small quantity of uh, what appears to be cannabis uh, with a female, it's in her bag. So uh, they might be under the influence as well of drugs, so we'll, we'll obviously do some further checks uh, once we get back to custody in relation to that. You know, if there had been other stuff on the road, then it potentially would have been a lot worse. Maybe the reason why he's just not stopped is just because he's banned. Um, you know, at the end of the day, if he'd have just pulled over and stopped, he'd have probably just got reported at the roadside, had his vehicle seized, and that would have been the end of it. Obviously, with what he's done now, he's possibly looking at a custodial sentence. What was he in prison for last month? No licence, no insurance. He was pre placed um, in prison for four months, disqualified for 26 months, and added until test pass. That's why. At custody, traffic cop Alex Head is charging the driver. So, just to sum up, we've got driving a vehicle dangerously, uh, driving a vehicle whilst disqualified, driving a vehicle when there's no third party insurance failing to stop for officers and also failing to provide in custody when required to do so. Do you understand all those charges? Okay. Because of his prior convictions, the man is straight off to court. So the suspect has now been charged. He'll be uh, put before the court this morning. Um, because of his driving history, he'll most likely get a custodial sentence. The fact he's been involved in a fail to stop, it's aggravated by the fact he's been involved in dangerous driving. Uh, that's aggravating the fact he's driving whilst disqualified. So that will increase his likelihood of getting a sentence. Ten miles south of Chesterfield, Alex is now halfway through his 12 hour night shift. I'm just parked up the uh, M1 on the entry slip, looking for speeders. Moments later, a car speeds past. Now it's a case of trying to catch up with him. So the car I've just seen driving past uh, a silly speed, I managed to get behind it now. Uh, it's a white BMW. So I've just clocked him, he's doing 126 miles an hour. So, yeah, it's stupid speed and you need speaking to. Even little potholes or little bumps in the road surface can unbalance the car. And if you're not used to dealing with that, you're crashing at that speed, it, you, you're talking about a fatality straight away. N8 Tangent 4-3, just uh, come across the vehicle, M1 North, can I just pass you the details, please? The vehicle is a white BMW. Tell me who the vehicle comes back to, please. Tell me who the vehicle's insured to. Yes, then, but I'll just check. Yeah, it comes back. No insurance, how old? Yeah, and anyway, that's received. You should be aware of my presence now. Um, I'm going to put a follow me board off from here and look for a compliance stop at this time. So I've got my follow me board on and I pull him into the services. Right then, sir, do you mind turning your engine off for me? Yes. Uh, do you have your driving licence on you? Uh, unfortunately, no. Right, OK. I can give you a name if you need. The reason I've stopped you is because I've clocked you doing 125 miles an hour. That's how fast you were going. All right. This vehicle's also showing us having no insurance. I am car trader. You're a car yes. trader? Yeah. Right, OK. Do you have a, a policy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, so if you could show me your policy. Yes. OK. What's in the back, if you don't uh, mind yeah, me? Can I have a look? Yeah, of course. It's like some stuff, he like buying some cars. Oh, and... Tango CA4, receiving 4 3. With his suspicions raised. Go ahead. 
Alex calls traffic cop Dan Mitchell for backup. This car is just full with boxes of electronic goods, like rammed to the rafters. OK, I'll let wait here. So all these things, yeah. where are they from then? Two or three people, which mm -hmm. have uh, put on the Facebook market playlist. What about say, Alex? Hey there. Oh, that is full. That's very full. Thing is, gents, you can obviously understand, it looks a bit strange when we've got lots of packages yeah, of, no, of, no. of stuff. There's parcels here which have also addressed to other people. How long have you had this trade plate? Oh, uh, just like uh, two weeks. Car trader and car boot trader. Yeah, um, you know we do everything. You yeah. know. Like Del Boy and Rodney. <laughs> But well, why are you driving a car that you haven't got a license for? Because he is very tired. Oh, just stop. Huh? Just stop, I'm though. Making, I'm making some accident, like... Yeah, just stop. So, the worst thing you can do is allow someone else that hasn't even got a license to drive a car. I got the license, but, you know, the, the thing, the plan was, you know, from home, like... Where's my... your license? Home. Huh? But you can't find his driving license? No, nope. he's got not, doesn't even have a picture of it. I don't think he's even I got know. a license. Yeah, yet. so I he's not got a license. Very, very you know, I know you I say you're very, very tired, but unfortunately, yeah. you're about to become a little bit more tired because at this time, we're going to be seizing <laughs> your car under 165 of the Road Traffic yeah. Act. The onus is on you guys to provide us with the proof that you've got driving licenses, insurance, and all that sort of stuff. You, you can't do that. Listen, you can't do that here. So, I'm not going to stand here arguing all night because we've got other things to do. So, the vehicle's going to get seized and you'll get reported for the offence of. If you're allowing someone to drive your car when they don't have a licence and they don't have insurance, you're guilty of letting that person drive. OK? I have trader policy. I mm -hmm. listen to driving the car 45 minutes. I listen to drive till to going on the service, right. only on the service. So what's this then? Uh, yeah, policy. Policy. Trader policy. So there's two people named on this in policy. Okay, like, which is you and your wife. Okay, he's not even mentioned. It, it, it doesn't even say, this policy doesn't even say that anybody else can drive this vehicle. So, unless you've stated on your policy that you want cover for anyone to drive the car, then it doesn't cover everyone. Maybe it's not saying on that, but you can't... If it doesn't it. say on that, then it's not going to work, is it? You know... You can't just ring up and go, oh, actually, can you just change your policy to anyone to drive quickly because I've been stopped by the police? I have with him here to test the car. Ten minutes? No. Have a ten minutes? No. Can I let you ten minutes? No. OK, right. So in that ten minutes, if he'd have ploughed into the back of someone else and killed someone, whose fault's that? Yours? Mine. Because you were tired? Mine. Or his fault because he's got behind the wheel? No, mine. So is you forcing him to drive the car? Mine. So you can no. have a ticket as well, then? You're not covered, so... Yeah, I'm the, not the, covered on that, yeah, but yeah. if he's next to okay. me... No, no, no. Next. No, it doesn't work like oh. that. Doesn't right, work we're like going that. around in circles, OK? You're not insured, you shouldn't have been driving, you're driving too fast, you don't have a licence. End of. OK? OK? So my concern right now is finding out who you are, OK? Because you've given me some details, right? You've given me details which don't come back to anyone. If you cannot prove to me who you say you are, I've got no other choice but to arrest you. So start thinking right now about what you can send to me, which has got your name on it and your address. How old are you? I'm 19. 19. So have you not had, you not have letters or anything like that? No. Or emails with your address no, on it? No, I'm not even to college, mate. That's the thing. I... Have you got a bank account? No. I'm not lying to you. There's no point to lying. What's in your, your, your satchel? Your purse? OK. What's this? A knife. A knife? Why have we got a knife on ourselves? Because sometimes we need. Sometimes we need, do we? OK. Yeah, even book, that book. Right. See how I can open that book. Should I take... Front. No, just leave it there. Yeah. If you just wanted to step back for us. No, leave that alone. Step back. Just step back. Right. Because of the fact, I can't... Don't know who you are, OK? And I don't trust... The fact that you're just giving me your details and you've got nothing on you, okay? You're going to be arrested for driving without a licence. 
driving without insurance and driving in excess of the 70 mile an hour speed limit, okay? So you do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence. If you do not mention when questioned something which you later on in court, anything you do say may be given in evidence. Further under arrest on suspicion of being in possession of a bladed article. That's what's going to happen is we're, me and you are going to travel down to Ripley Police Station right now. You're going to get your fingerprints taken, okay? We're going to take your details and you're going to get charged to court, okay? That's the only way I can be certain that you are who you say you are and that you're going to be there for those offences. Okay. okay. So pop your seatbelt on for us. I'm going to be putting some handcuffs on you. But just, if you can be... Look, i be nice with you. Please, yep. tell me. I'm going to... Look, yeah? Right, I'm going to give you my yeah. real details, yeah. I promise you, yeah? You, look, your I, real details? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm just... He says he's going to give me his real details now. Oh, is he? Oh, he's also got a knife on him. We're going to be there in 20 minutes. All right. Take care. Coming up. Get the ambulance out of my heart. is very, very hard. Call me hard, call me hard, call me hard. A medical emergency. Yeah, that, that. Hard, that, that. And a shocking confession. Like I'm just 16. You're 16? Yes. Means a night in the cells. How much money is here? Uh, 2,200. At the motorway services on the M1, traffic cops Alex Head and Dan Mitchell have a young man suspected of speeding and driving without a licence or insurance under arrest. I have with him here to test the car. Ten minutes? No. Have a ten minutes? No. We've... No! His father insists his son is innocent. Just step back. So what's going to happen is we're, me and you are going to travel down to Ripley Police Station right now. We're going to be there in 20 minutes. All right, take care. That's a great acting, mate. Do you want to get up now? Because you've thrown everything else on the floor apart from your phone. 18 years in the job. Nothing really amazes me anymore about the lengths people will go to try and get out of a situation, to try and make us believe that what they're doing is the right thing and what we're doing is wrong. Let's come and sit down in the car. Well, I have choose the hard attack, uh, not I have the... the, the uh, it's, um, yeah, that, that, hard attack. that what? was pathetic. Pathetic? Yeah. What is pathetic? That, that play act... Yes, we did. Put on, yes, we did. Put on, yeah, come, come and sit down, then. My heart is very, very hard. Call me hard, call me hard, call me hard. I'm shaking. I show you a message. I have two hard attacks. Yeah. You want to show you a message? I have an appointment on, on 20. I have an appointment. I'll tell you now. Shall I tell you? Shall I tell What's your name? My name? Yeah. I don't know. You don't know your name? Yeah. All right. If you was having a heart attack, you'd be sweating bring profusely bring and bring you're not. Is that really your dad? He's very bad at acting. While Dan continues dealing with the father, Alex takes his son to custody for an identity check. He said he got a heart problem. Yeah, he do have a okay. too hard at that. He managed to hold on to his phone and not break his phone very, very well. I, I had it too hard at that, yeah. my seat. Well, if you sit down... Yeah. Maybe, take the maybe I am seat. your father, understand me? Yeah. Maybe making it am your father. Yeah. Same, That's fine. Same piece, well, don't, yeah? Number one, understand me? listen. Yeah, I give you all my documents, yeah? listen. all my name, listen. everything I give you. But your you son, don't believe me. But you your, tell son, me your son's me. lied. Tell your me. son's tell lied, me. but you didn't say anything. You've lied with him. So why should I believe anything that comes out of your mouth now? Yeah, yeah, and, then little, what, what, and then that I little thing there was absolutely ridiculous. You might well have had a couple of heart attacks in the past, but don't lie about it. And then you wanted me to ring up the, the ambulance for you not doing anything. Yeah. So not you wanted I'm me to waste liar, more money? Not I am lying. Not well, I am lying. You weren't, having, you a a you weren't, you you weren't having a heart attack there, was you? Yeah. No, you wasn't. Yeah. Well, you made a miraculous recovery. Yeah. Wow, miraculous recovery. Miraculous. Yeah. I'm, I'm really sorry because I've been stupid and just lying to you, you know. Yeah, I've been a little bit silly. Yeah, I'm I, not going to lie. I'm sorry. But because you see, first time 
I tried to. So be why, why, why? Okay, so why are we lying? What's the reason for it? Like I'm just 16. You're 16. Yes. Cool. Okay. No worries. We'll have to get it appropriate at all. I'm sorry because I lied to you. You robbed me. We've seized your stuff. It's the difference. All right then. Yep, this way. At custody. He's okay. Have you got the wand? The underage driver requires adult supervision. Cash is found that he says belongs to his father. How much money is here? Uh, Two thousand and uh, two hundred. Two thousand two hundred. Yes. Okay. I know if I was sixteen, my dad wouldn't trust me with two and a half thousand pounds. It seems a bit strange that he's given you two and a half thousand pounds when he's a grown adult, okay, and he, he's able to look after this money himself, but he gives you and then lets you put it in your little man bag. The thing is, I have a bag and it's more safety than a pocket because on that, you just can uh, you get me. The discovery of the cash raises more suspicions. And while the teenager is taken to the cells, his father's also been detained. So his dad, who was left at the services, he's been now arrested for uh, possession of criminal property uh, and money laundering, and so now he's been brought down here. Yeah. He's made a big thing about his heart, um, that he's had a heart attack, but the drugs that he says he desperately needs, he hasn't been prescribed for nearly a year now. So there's a lot of play acting going off and I'm not quite sure why that is. Whether he thinks he'll get us out of custody, I don't know. Both the father and son will be held overnight while the police continue their investigation into the cash and goods in the car. Dad's got three phones and multiple bank cards. We'll seize all of them, uh, find out what information they've got on them. Right, I want to know what's... Two and a half hours later... Crikey, that's a nice car. Traffic cop Martin Carter inspects the recovered car. Jeezy peeps, man. There's so much stuff. I've never personally dealt with property on this scale. If we suspect all this is stolen, it's a huge amount of property for us to be dealing with because there's power tools, there's drones, there's vehicle electrical goods. There's all sorts. It's all brand new stuff as well. It's not second-hand gear. So, and for it to be wedged in the back of a car like this is just unusual if it's legitimate. So now all that's going to have to be booked into property and it's up to us to try and identify where it's come from and return it to its rightful owner, if it is stolen. At Ripley Station, after a night in the cells, it's question time for father and son. Hello. How's your English? Uh, all right. All right. Yeah. OK. Do you want to jump in room four? And then we won't get it pinched. Regardless of what he says in the interview, we know he's not got a licence, we know he's not got any insurance, and he's only 16 years old. And he was caught travelling 126 miles an hour on the motorway. So Dad and Son will both be interviewed, and we'll see what they've, what they've got to say for themselves. So, in your own words, can you tell me what happened? My dad had some problem, like he was saying he got no breathe and stuff like that because he got, like, a heart problem, and I was a bit scared, and... Uh, because of his, like, health. Uh, and I was trying to get, like, quite quick to uh, welcome break as soon as possible, like, to at least, you know, to get some fresh air and his tablets in case if he was able <laughs> to bring an ambulance. Hello, sir. OK. The son claims he was driving as the dad was having a medical emergency. Can you sit in that seat for me? Despite not mentioning this before the arrest, with the aid of a translator, the father's account matches. Uh, respectfully, a doctor's appointment on the 20th is not a medical emergency. If you felt that unwell that you couldn't drive, 
maybe you should have pulled over, stopped and called an ambulance, as opposed to allowing a 16-year-old male to drive well in excess of the speed limit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. While the police continue their investigation, both men are free to go. Phones have been seized, yeah, so they need looking at and downloading, which is why we've not got them at the minute. You will get it back, just not today. Because what we don't want to happen is to you to go on and delete stuff, so that's why we interrogate it, if that makes sense. The cash has been seized. He, w he is likely to get it back, but it won't be today. The only thing he needs to do is sort out getting the car back, which is all explained on this document here. These is very important to get for getting his car back. So if he wants to get his car back, do not get rid of this. When I recover my car, will I get all the stuff in it back as an older? At the minute it's upstairs, but I think the plan is to take that stuff back to the car. Coming up. I believe he's disqualified till test pass. An officer's instincts. He's got a license. No, no, we uh, disqualify you. Yeah. 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 Uncover yet another unlicensed driver. Well, it's not going to go down well when I go back to court, is it? No. Stop driving then. And a routine stop escalates. Yeah. Unfortunately, none of them are in child seats, are they? So I'm going to have a wild guess that this is going to turn out to be a, a stolen car. No, no, we just got aren't you? Yeah. yeah, all right. Come on, sit your car. We'll try and sort it out here with you, all right? Uh, Let's jump in there, then we'll, uh, we'll get it sorted with you. Yeah. From... Off Tango 37 in the update. Yeah, we've got this vehicle stopped. There's no issues. Um, the male has identified himself as being the disqual, uh, so we're just going to deal with it at the roadside. Jim, you still want me to... I've, got, I've got kids in car, do you know what I mean? Oh, I like, can't... Even kids. No, I can't, oh. do you know what I mean? It's, I'm not... No, well, that's it, you made it it's easy. A, it is what it is, do you know what I mean? I can't do all about it now. So you don't have to say anything, but it may only defence, if you're not mentioned now, something which you later rely on in court. How many kids you got in car, then? Three. We're just on his way to fair now, but Asland. So, do you know, like, do you know how you just... Did, you, did it come up that it's insured to a lady, then? Yeah. Is that insured to a female? Right. And obviously, I, I looked across and could see female passenger seat, because it windowed it out, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, you went yeah. driver's seat. So you're disqualified for quite a while then, aren't you, looking at this? i got three years originally. So, yeah, you're disqualified until 25th of May, 25. Yeah, it's, quite, it's not going to go down well when I go back to court, is it? No. Echo, Stop driving, then, because you're going to have to wait till your band's finished. And then you need to be passing a test, don't you? You've never yeah, even passed the, a test. This is the second time I've been banned, this. Right. So this is not going to go down well, is it, this? Not really. OK, because I'm happy with who you are and there's no appear to be any aggravating factors, I'm not going to be arresting you. It right. to be dealt with no by problem. process. I appreciate You're it. just going to get processed, aren't you, for driving marks disqualified and that'll be it. Well, and there's my, no aggravating my, factors. My children will be very happy that we may still be able to go to the fair. Mm. Whether I'll have face on or not, that's a different <laughs> story, isn't it? But... Uh. I thought it was an ST, the colour it was. No, it's... Uh... Is it just that, titanium X? Yeah, it's got body kit on it. Hello, I've just been checking you, cos obviously you're insured on this, aren't you? Yeah, well, I'm Yeah, and... Uh, well, what sort? Well, it's cos he's banned, isn't it? Why the fault? Cos he's driving it and he shouldn't be driving it. Can you not park up, please? They don't have to. Yeah, unfortunately, none of them are in seats, are they? Yeah, they don't need seats. They do, oh, don't they? Don't they? It's not tall enough. You what, sorry? It's not going to be tall enough, your middle yes. one. She is tall no, she's enough, not. Yes, she is. How well do you know the law? I know Because you've been driven by your partner, who's know. banned from driving, aren't you? And now you've got seats. Well, I don't, I'm not really interested. I'm looking at the safety of your children. Yes, I know. All right? Completely understand that. So you're allowing your children to be driven around by him. He, should not, he shouldn't be driving. You could be driving. You'd be legal then, wouldn't you? Apart from the lack of child seats. So you are going to have to make an alternative arrangement because I'm seizing the vehicle because it's been used by a disqualified driver, therefore hasn't got a licence, hasn't got insurance. Oh, yeah, there, you can have a chat with it. Just While he waits for the recovery, Jim inspects the car. I'm a bit suspicious of this one, you know. That is where the ST badge is. But they've debadged it, so they've took the badge off the boot and they've also took the ST badge off the front grille here. But you can still see where... It used to be. Yeah. So, so I'm going to have a wild guess that this is going to turn out to be a, a stolen car. 
an A Oscar Tango 37. Although I'm not a stolen vehicle identification officer, I've always been really into cars, so I know where to look for identity. I know where the stamps should be, I know where stickers should be. I'm not happy that this vehicle is what it's uh, saying it is, i.e. this uh, Focus Titanium X in yellow. Um, this is a yellowy, orange-coloured car, but to me, this is a uh, Ford Focus ST, and I think it's five years newer than what it's showing. Can we put a hold on this vehicle so that they can't uh, get this vehicle back? until it's had a proper vehicle examination to verify its identity. I say, in my opinion, it's, uh, it's not what it says it is. Yeah. Jim checks the car's VIN, the vehicle identification number. So when they basically change the identity of cars, if they go to a different level to just swap in the number plates, they'll swap the visible VIN stickers. So they'll change the one in the window, which has been changed, and they'll change this sticker here. That's going to be... The, the sticker that the buyer's part of a kit when they clone these vehicles along with the visible VIN. But what they failed to do is change the tyre pressure sticker which just above the door latch here, basically, which is still showing as Focus ST. So they've done half a job. While the driver is free to go, his suspected stolen car will be examined back at the police station. He may be unaware of its origins. He might be. And it's how are we going to be able to prove that? The car itself was a bit of an unusual clone. Maybe to them, one yellow focus is similar to another yellow focus. But obviously, once you know your cars and your model years, you know, you spot these little things. Each year, more than a thousand deaths and serious injuries are caused by disqualified or unlicensed drivers. It's important to get disqualified drivers off the road because they're a risk to everyone that's out there. These people just don't care. You know, in my mind, it's just selfishness. They just want to get away. They don't care what damage they cause or who they hurt. In this episode... Pull up to a set of traffic lights, like, through on red. The man who twice failed to stop for officers... Yeah, straight through red lights towards town pleaded guilty to dangerous, disqualified and uninsured driving, failing to stop for the police and failing to provide drug and alcohol tests. He was sent to prison for a year and received a further 42 months driving ban. The underage, unlicensed driver caught 50 miles an hour over the limit and his father, who claimed to be having a heart attack, returned to be charged a few months later. <laughs> Fella, fella, stop it. You're getting charged. This goes away. After recovering from yet another medical episode... Nobody faints and holds the drink. The father was reported to court for allowing his son to drive while unlicensed and uninsured. Yeah, but your blood pressure's good. What's the matter? I don't know. My feet very bad. And after the son, who also suddenly felt unwell, recovered... What's up on my son? What's up on my son? He was charged to appear at youth court. Not going into okay. His dad's not going in a cell either. Both men failed to appear at court and a warrant has been issued for their arrest. No action was taken against them for any theft offences 